Shook it up. Hello from Dublin. Just checking my fringe as I record. We're here in Dublin in a random Starbucks waiting to meet with Mr. Robert Lipset. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling him by his full name. Full name. Full name. Maybe he's like not Robert. Maybe he's Roberto. Yeah, I think we should say that. Roberto Lipset. So we're just having, I'm having like a cold drink. I knew. No, it's like, what's that? Cold foam iced cappuccino. And uh, we've just been down in Longford for the past two days. Yeah, we had two days along for another communion and then we're in Dublin tonight and then back to our back book then back <laughs> then back home to the doggos and back to work because we've been traveling a lot the last couple of weeks so I'm tired yeah I'm like just running on empty right now yesterday I was fueled by cake so um, I definitely need to get back on it when I get home because tracking the amount of cake and um, brownies. I only want half my face in the shop. Uh, uh, At all times. This is my new thing. Just this. Lex is just going to creep on my there, video. There'll be certain people in the world that legitimately hate only seeing one eye of somebody. And this will be really freaking out right now. <laughs> As you can see, the lips. Are back to normal. Much better. Lex actually has been telling me how pretty I am, which um, is new. <laughs> so I think he prefers. I get my on your channel. No, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have. You've been commenting that I look prettier, which is nice. I think it's the combination of no lips and fringe that he's a, he's liking it. I'm too big, too massive. Aren't I? We were meant to go and get brunch in the hotel we're staying, which is House Hotel on Leeson Street. And of course, the, the the one day Rudely. that we're staying, they're have they're clo clo oh, they're close. Oh, it's to, it's like I got my my liners in. They're close to the public for a wedding, so we're gonna go and adventure out somewhere to get some brunch with Rob, and then go training, and then get more food. So it's food, 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 train, food, 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 food. sleep, home, train, food. <laughs> coffee. Uh, yeah, a lot of coffee. I've only had like 12 already today. I am quite tired, so I'm looking forward to getting home and back into my little routine for a couple of weeks. And me and Lex are going to plan out loads of little visits to people and to places and to do things over the next coming weeks. Comment who you want to see. Yeah, who would you like to see me? Forget about Lex, he can he can he can call up with me every day. And comment your favourite flavour of ice cream, because I'm curious. Favourite flavour of Halo Top? No, just ice cream in general. Which favourite flavour of ice cream? If you make this far, just comment in, let me know. Yeah. No, I, I might I want, I'd like to do a taste test of all of the nipple. I like to do a taste test of all the healthy ice creams that are available because there's so many of them now. They make poo. Not all of them. <laughs> Anyway, this is going on far too long, so uh, cut to the next scene. Bye. So I'm here on Bachelor's Walk with Mr. Rob Erto Lipset. Roberto, it's yeah, Robert. Just... That's the Irish. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we thought Roberto would be way more fun. Yeah, it is yeah. more exotic. It's cooler. Yeah. But uh, I'm so happy to have these guys here in Dublin City. Um, again, we were just talking about how it's awesome to find those like-minded people. There's not many fitness YouTubers in Dublin or Ireland yeah. at all. So, uh, you know, I'm just Lex, alive to have these guys space. here. Just we're making a promise it. to bring it back to you guys. <laughs> We've had this conversation three times. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're passionate about it. Third time lucky. Yeah, yeah, third. third so day. now yeah. we're off to get protein pancakes in Pogue, uh, which is just on Bachelor's Walk here, <laughs> and they do healthy pancakes. We'll see if yeah. they can rival oh, my pancakes. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Your beast in the kitchen. Oh, oh, and look at this. So I've got protein pancakes. Like, I'm like, I don't need, I don't even like want to rain this beauty. Health, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Health and fitness. It's our organic, <laughs> vegan, gluten free, oh, yeah. um, air, made of air chocolate. Yeah, See, I nice. went all healthy yeah, with my like, protein pancakes, with a little bit of coconut, a little bit of almond um, butter there, some strawberries, and oat milk latte. And the boys went full, we went, full fatty. We went full fatty. Yeah, like protein now pancakes. I'm, now I'm getting my aspartame in as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting my daily aspartame in intake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that looks delicious though. It does look good though, yeah. No, it is. It's oh, oh, Nutella it's all the way. Yeah. Mm. 
We're here in Raw Gym. I'm in the ladies' toilets. Getting myself ready, amped up for a workout. The boys are going to do a boys' workout. I'm doing two glutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I have to say, it's just so nice to meet up with Rob outside of an expo, outside of like a fitness event, and just kind of hang out, get to know each other a bit better. We've obviously been friends online, met each other at loads of different events before. So it's so nice to hook up with people who are like-minded, doing the same thing on YouTube, and the bonus of the fact that he is Irish. Because I think it kind of gets overlooked sometimes that I'm Irish, because I'm obviously living in the UK, and it's so nice to be home. This has probably been my favorite trip home since I moved to the UK. How many years ago is it now? Four years ago I moved over, and it's been my favorite trip so far to come home, and it's kind of encouraged me to come home a bit more frequently. I got to train in a gym down in Longford where I'm from. I feel now that I actually feel a bit more comfortable with maybe coming home a little bit more frequently, seeing my family, seeing my friends, that I have somewhere that I can train, that I have um, more connections over here and that I can work a bit more freely at home rather than just always being in the UK. And obviously then Lex will just have to fend for himself while I come home a bit more and maybe we'll come home a little bit more as a couple as well. Sorry guys, my fringe is just driving me mad. I know I sound very Irish because when I come to Ireland, my accent definitely gets stronger. So, I don't know, advice, advice for people with whatever you're calling it, bangs, a fringe in Ireland, in England we call it a fringe, in the US they call it bangs, but it's slightly driving me bananas because I'm not used to it yet and it's hanging in my eyes, even though it looks good. This is going to be a high maintenance haircut. What have I done to myself? Damn that's me, sad frosty, when I'm with a boss limb and a same basti, a same pompey, while I lie to long day, the command coach shadow where the crew in LA, they're not at the stage, sing a son of this me, bump their head when I sell it out seats, and I make them bend, get my ass started with a pair like that, man I think I'm a dream, hey, I'm a dream and I'ma wake up in the state that I've been doing too much, all the things on me to flourish, you ain't Spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, Girl, you can sit on me. Cause bitch, they be hating on me. Bitch, they be hating on me. Yeah, I ball on this. Yeah, I ball for free. I ball on this for free. Clark Kent might be super OG. But Lois ain't got nothing on me. Nah, Miss Lane, you got nothing on me. See, I ball. You know me. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, fly them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up our damn hands until they turned to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.